Raise taxes and you raise eyebrows. Hawaii lawmakers are feeling the heat when it comes to extending the rail tax. And as KITV Force Andrew Pereira shows us tonight, things could get sticky again if they try to hang on to higher tax rates for big earners. Hawaii's biggest cash cow is the general excise tax, but not too far behind sits income taxes. And when the country was in a recession back in 2009, state lawmakers passed higher tax rates for big earners. Basically, we have two choices. We either cut or we raise taxes, and we were trying to avoid cutting some of the most crucial services that the government provides. Under the higher rates, singles earning $150,000 or more are taxed at 9%. For couples, the threshold is $300,000 or more. Singles making $175,000 or more per year are taxed at 10%. For couples, it's $350,000 or more. The highest 11% tax rate is paid by singles earning $200,000 or more per year, or $400,000 or more for a couple filing jointly. The economy has now rebounded, but some want to keep collecting the increased taxes from higher incomes. Uh, there are some people who don't want to see the enhanced revenue go, so uh, there are bills um, that have been introduced in this session to, uh, to extend those rates to make them permanent. Supporters say that's because the state budget keeps growing. I know that by 2017 we're going to be in a pretty tough spot. We have a lot of obligations that we need to meet. Representative Carl Rhodes says progressive taxation is the way to go, citing numbers from the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy. The wealthiest 1% in Hawaii pays 7% of their total income in taxes. The, the least wealthy 20% pay 13.4%. So as you can see, uh, the lower income people pay uh, almost twice as much as a percentage of their income, and that doesn't seem fair to me. But is it fair to hang on to a tax lawmakers once pledged to repeal? If uh, you want to restore faith in government, you, you really ought to stop um, uh, breaking promises. Andrew Pereira, KITV 4 News.